I am making another Michelin star recipe. I'm gonna take a couple, couple edibles. It reminded me of us, like of humans. I'm pretty confident that I can eyeball it. What happened? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I truly don't know what happened. All right, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Colin. <laughs> Maybe you recognize this outfit. Oh, is he making scallops again? No, but I am making another Michelin star recipe. Ooh, applause, applause break. We're gonna be making a wedding cake, a Swedish wedding cake, the Swedish princess cake, something like that, I think it's called. I'm not gonna do what I did last time. I'm not gonna do one of these really challenging recipes and get hammered drunk. That was a bad idea. Boy, oh boy, did I learn my lesson. What a mess that was. Hung over as hell the next day. So we're not doing that tonight. I am a little stressed. I am a little nervous. I've never baked before. So that makes me a stress. That makes me a little worried. How am I gonna deal with that tonight? Nothing crazy. I'm gonna take a couple, a couple edibles. Mmm, <laughs> tastes good. 10 milligrams. Typically I have, I have a pretty low tolerance of THC. But anyway, <laughs> we gotta get started because it's late. First we're gonna get our, 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 our our cake batter mixing. We got our oven preheated to 325. We gotta get this mixing because this is gonna have to mix for 30 minutes before we can mix in our dry ingredients. <laughs> I wonder how long this is gonna take to hit. I feel like it should have hit by now. All right, I'll take another one. I don't think you should take another one. What do you think will happen to me? I think you'll be non-functional. If I take 20 milligrams, that's not that much. It is. We'll see, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Nice and level. I don't know what setting to mix this on though. Okay, medium to high speeds. So you're gonna wanna get this going on medium to high speeds. And I know that. Okay, well Gracie's not looking. I don't really feel anything. The little voice in the back of my head went, uh-oh. <laughs> like, uh-oh, shouldn't have done that. Are we, now we gotta mix up our dry ingredients. <sighs> I don't have any of my little tiny measuring things. That sucks. <laughs> okay, per usual, I forgot some, you know, key utensils, my measuring spoons, and these are very precise measurements. I'm pretty confident that I can eyeball it. All right, we're gonna mix those around. We gotta mix up our dry ingredients nice and good. Then we're gonna run them through this tammy, just mixing it with a fork, getting it nice and, uh, nice and tossed. I'm feeling the edibles, I think. Really? Yeah, I think so. You gotta pass your dry ingredients through a Tammy. You don't know a Tammy. Just go to your nearest Chili's. She's waiting tables. <laughs> <laughs> is this really how slow this goes? This is what bakers do? This is the dumbest shit in the world. This is annoying. You're supposed to make the pastry cream and let it sit overnight, let it chill. I did do that. I was, you know, I, I prepared, but this is how it came out. So I definitely did something wrong. It is solid. So, <laughs> two cups milk. <laughs> we gotta give it a little split down the middle, wedge it open with a spoon, and you scrape all that good stuff out. That's all good stuff. Mmm. You wanna get that in your pot, and then we're gonna drop the rest of the vanilla bean in there. We're gonna let that boil. Half a cup of sugar. Third of a cup of cornstarch. <gasps> I did it again. Oh. Uh, how much do you think I lost? Quarter cup? I gotta get the yolk of five eggs. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Now I'm, now I'm adding my egg to my, my mix. Pouring the boiling cream over the sugar and egg mix. I'm so much more optimistic about how this is turning out than the first time. Isn't it supposed to chill for 24 hours? Yep, yep. So, okay, so that's, you know, less than ideal. That's okay. We'll, we'll flash freeze it. No, 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 no. Okay. Whoa, that looks good. That has egg in it. Shouldn't have done that. That looks good. Pastry cream mix, that's going back into the pot. And I'm gonna boil while mixing it constantly for five minutes. I feel nervous. And I'm gonna add in the butter. I mixed in two tablespoons of butter. I'm just letting this kind of melt and mix around before I take it off the heat and put it into the freezer where I'm gonna let it chill. Oh my God, oh my God. 
What? Do you are you kidding me? You don't see that. See what? Dude, come on. What am I supposed to be seeing? It's a goddamn Slender Man. There's nobody behind that camera. Oh, Great. It is schedule one. What's the next step? Now I gotta chill this this pastry cream. I gotta chill the pastry cream, which is supposed to sit out overnight, but Lord knows I'm not waiting out here. I do feel uh, genuinely freaked out. So now I'm gonna get my cake batter in the oven. I gotta do them one at a time, otherwise this oven will ruin them. How long? Four minutes. And then you gotta pull them out, let them chill. In the meantime, I know I'm supposed to be doing something. Gonna go to the chapel and where Gonna get married. Go to the chapel in there. Gonna eat some cake. How do you know if sponge cake is done? I think that's great. Really? Okay. What yeah. do you think is wrong? That it's gonna be like liquidy, you know? Uh, do you have a toothpick? No. It definitely wouldn't pass that test. I'll do. I'll do it with a fork. <laughs> it's like soup. It's like goddamn soup. <laughs> it's not even f***ing close. Maybe I crank the temp up a little bit. I'm gonna go 335. I mean, we gotta get out of here. We gotta torch these f***s. It's a slender man. I like how you've like immediately transitioned to just accepting. Just acceptance of the, of the slender man. Sometimes you just gotta throw your hands up and go up. Oh, I guess I'm gonna be making cake with slender man tonight. More than one, I'm gonna have a slice of cake. You want some cake? Hey, thumbs up from Slender Man. Sl you got a slice with your name on it. Slend Slendy, can I call you Slendy? Rock and roll, okay. Just give me rock and roll horns, I think that's a good sign. This could be the start of something. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's good, Miguelito. Yeah. Close the doors. I know, I know, I know, sorry. I know the heat out, okay. Yeah, it's, it's like bubbling very gently. I've never actually like watched my food cook. It's like a molecular reaction, like chemistry class. That must be how Neil deGrasse Tyson sees everything. Like if he's just making coffee and he's like stirring milk in and he's just going, molecules, you know, or whatever. <laughs> atoms, or whatever he says. Get that in the fridge. I'm gonna, my, I'm gonna let my marzipan sit out. Marzipanus. <laughs> I, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. There's a couple points where I did not feel good. Some existential dread. I was staring at the oven for a while. What was that about? There was a weird thought that I had. I'm not bullshitting. This was like, I did get, it was like a very brief thought. It was more of like a feeling, but I did get like, you know, watching the cake bubbling. It reminded me of us, like humans. Like we're all, you know, kind of, we start out as amoebas in a way. And the cake, I mean, especially when it was wet and it was jiggling, it had a very amoeba-like quality to it. But then it was quickly, that, that feeling was quickly shut down by the image of Neil deGrasse Tyson's face and him talking. He's, he's a very wet talker. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Now we're gonna get our second layer of cake on there. Oh no. No, I think it's fine. I mean, we're gonna cover it up anyway. Pastry cream getting spread. Now I'm getting my third layer on top. Three cups, heavy whipping cream. So this looks kind of like shit. Like it doesn't look like, like I'm not getting the green to mix in. I don't know if this would cover that though. Yeah, you gotta roll it out quite a bit. Dude, I am so high. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my cream layer, my creamy cream 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 layer with a little dome. I think this is actually gonna be pretty good. A little extra in the middle. But now I'm putting pastry cream on the outside of the cake. I gotta keep remembering to talk about what I'm doing. I'm about to put the marzipan on the cake. This is probably the most important step. This is irreversible. 
One shot, winner take all. Oh no. Missing a little bit of extra real estate. I think I can like press it down. I'm just gonna give a little trim around the old uh, Jaruski. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a little fucked up on that one side. Oh wow, look at that. Holy s***, <laughs> Tom. That's not bad. That's not <laughs> bad. It actually, I mean, it, technically it's a cake. Taste. Let's let's try this princess cake out. I mean this honestly when I say this. I think that's one of the worst cakes I've ever had in my life. That's one of the worst cakes I've ever had in my life. I don't know what the f I did. <laughs> All that work <laughs> that, that piece of shit. Oh my god. It's almost inedible. Still on peace, Lundy? Okay. Nice big bite of cake. Let me know what you think. Mmm. Zero? Oh my god. Okay. So, in conclusion, <laughs> I have received a score of zero on flavor. It's never happened before on this show. I never thought I'd fall that low. I, I didn't mean to rhyme there. <laughs> Unfortunately, tonight was not our night. <laughs> okay, this was bad. I, it was the worst thing I've ever tasted. Slender Man hated it. Thank you for staying so late, Slender Man. I promise I will make it up to you. I love you. <laughs> I love Slender Man. Wow, I just said that live on air. Whenever the network execs give us the green light. Okay, all right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Holy cow. And that concludes another episode of Cooking with Colin. Yeah, it's bad.